I always like those pockets over. Quick reachy reach. There we go, that's a better little fish. That is a better little fish. I caught a better little fish. Wicked, there we go. Oh, that's a better little fish. Another better little fish. Woohoo! I think that one's a better little, oh, still a better little brown trout. Sweet. Got like those on uh, the beetle. Hey guys, I hope your summer's going great and we continue with shorter videos through the summer. Uh, this video that I'm about to share, uh, we were on a hosted trip in Chile this year and I was out with a fellow, uh, a guest named Matt and he went out with the guide and absolutely cleaned house fishing jig head streamers. And his day culminates with an amazing fish at the end of this video. But it was high water. We were coming out of really high water, uh, basically the end of spring runoff, and the fish were not gonna be nosed in into that real fast, heavy stuff. The fish were gonna be kind of, you know, waist deep or less water along the edges in the real soft water uh, where they could endure high, fast, pushy water. And in this video, I just, basically I'm fishing pretty casual, to be honest. I've got a beetle and I'm just flipping, uh, picking apart the water, just, this seam, that seam, right along that broken rock, broken structure, which fish are gonna be found. This video goes by pretty quick. It really shares two or three hours of fishing of me just walking up, picking up part, uh, a, a stream, not so much bigger than Little Pincher Creek behind me, uh, but it, again, it's at the end of high pushy water season, and I'm just focusing on placement of where I expect fish to be and watch and pay attention to my casts, my high stick, you know, just the simple movements. I'm just going like this with my left arm as I stand here because my, mo my motions are simple. My where I fish are simple. The, it's basically a strike junky day and I'm just hitting that spot, drift, mend, drift, reach mend, high stick is the focus of this video. Uh, I don't get into a lot of the details specifics through the video, but pay attention to the where I'm fishing, how I'm fishing, and how many fish obviously come. Uh, it's a brilliant little creek in Patagonia, and this is just picking it apart, showing you the where, and if you're paying attention, you'll see the how come shining through on a great day in Southern Chile. So all that I'm doing in this situation here, because I have a long leader, I could do a lot of neat things on it. I'm right across, but see where my rod tip is? That's almost mid seam, right? So to get across, well, you just cast, immediately lift, keep it high stick, keep the leader off the water, and you can twitch it all the way down. That's not rocket science. You can put it across in that far seam. Upstream, man, ah, two fit little fish came at it. Oh, 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 do you want it? Do you want it? Yes. Oh, he didn't quite have enough of a mouth to take on that size eight monstrosity. <laughs> so again, as it goes down past you, it's just like nymphing, just feed, and away we go. So anyway, we'll go back up in here, right on the inside of that thing. Well, is there another big little fish? A bigger little fish? A bigger little buddy. I'm not real serious about it, but it's just a case of just a little man and then out man and back up across a little bit of a man anybody home well you've seen how many fish i've moved here already so you know this is just hey oh almost sent him to the trees in the background <laughs> that's awesome okay so how about if we just put it right in that little cushy bit right in the middle that's one you know if they're there they're gonna pop immediately and if they're not there or if they're deeper no, that's not going to happen. So we're, that's exactly all there is to it. Longer leader, get your rod tip across, place, and just hold, mend, try to fight the wind by wiggling down. If that doesn't work, across, mend, up, wiggle, done. Beetle, willow, trough, trench. We've caught three fish in here already. Got little rainbows. 
Just a, just a little upstream end on that. Not much on, just enough. Twitch, 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 twitch. Up, pause, place, oof. Should be a fish around here, right? They really like that broken rock along the backside down there, right where the easy water and high water was. I'm not setting a hook on every single fish in here because they're not all the grand pappies, you know? Twitch, twitch, right along the edge of that. There's a fish, hey, right along the edge of that willow, right on that leading trough. And that's exactly what we've been catching. Some just gorgeous looking, colorful, woo, hoopa. Well, I should probably come through heaven here and just go work this little shelf up ahead. It's a gorgeous bit of water. Coming into just a stunning, stunning piece of water. Substantive. There we go. Not a bad rainbow at all. But, see the, see how beat up that is? See how skinny that back end is? Right through there, beat up through here. That's all post spawn, followed by high water. That's the condition of fish after they spawn and after they have to, particularly rainbows, because they almost always come spawning and high water soon after, right? So you just gotta think that stuff through. Not every fish is gonna be all that sexy condition for sure. But there's lots of them when they're here. If you can read water, you are going to catch fish. That's just how it is. Smack, drift, catch, miss. Let's go over to the far scene. See if anything is over here. Yes. Okay. I didn't mean to set the hook. Nice little guy. In the gorgeous mountains just north of Koiheke. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, good fish. <laughs> yeah, it was. That's a little guy, but hey, I'll take him. Hand off. Perfect. One thing I haven't much done today is cross river bank side slots. And this one looks good. Yeah, that's a better fish come off that bank. It's exactly where I thought a little bit bigger brown would be. I think that's my brownie of the day. Exactly where I thought the brownie of the day for me would be, right? Underneath that bush over there. Came smoking out. <laughs> I saw him turn off the bottom. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, that was a video fish. And there you go. Stunner, eh? Hello, Mr. Martin. How are you? Martin Pescador, Kingfisher. This is amazing, the smell of lupins. Wow, stunning little spot. What a place, what a place.
I'm not really sure what I'm looking at. Is that a smudge or a fish? That's a little brownie. <laughs> That's it's actually pretty gorgeous. When you look at where I'm fishing and that brown against that backdrop, guys. Oh boy. That's stunning stuff, isn't it? And of course, I was just reeling in after I just smacked on the water and said that was a gorgeous fish. And I was just reeling in and this guy decided to eat my fly. So, yeah, that's a gorgeous day in Patagonia. Come on, Laura. Nice little female. Stunning colors on these fish. Again, everything I'm hitting today is knee deep ish or less okay so in this case here i'm going to try to fire it across with an upstream wind fire it in there oh there he was see that big man and fired in there big upstream man and nobody ah, fair enough what the heck up in here right on that seam Ooh, hey that was at least 10 and a half inches hey that's a good fish Oh yeah, that's a bigger, a bigger little buddy, a bigger little fish. I like bigger little fish. You ought to put a 200 fish video together from Chile. Awesome. Wicked. There you go. This is chilly. You don't have to be exactly awesome to catch fish here. It's a lot of fish. Just fun stuff. Well, it's not the greatest shelf, but there's some rock. This would be a great little cutthroat run. So there should be a couple little rainbows. I see. Bad cast because I was looking at a fish across the way jump clear out of the water. That's the one I missed. <laughs> That's awesome. Is that a little brown or looks like it? My head's a little paler. Yep, definitely is. Hey, that's a nice little brown. Look at that. Nose radium, hey? Right over there. Wicked. Look at that blue spot and the red spots. This little seam stuff in here. If anybody wants to come up on that. And how about in there? <laughs> little flash. Nothing. There he is. Just that little flat spot in the middle of the river, guys. You know, if you're nymphing, this is perfect tight line nymphing stuff. Which Matt, my partner today, is doing. But me, I'm Mr. Dryfly, Mr. Dress Up. There we go. Look at, let's carry on, find some different water to share. You sneak a peek as you're about to lift. Make sure there's no big smudges or shadows. Doesn't appear to be. That's a better fish, isn't it? <laughs> That's fun. And right up the gut. Got oh big slash a Rooney. Oh, right out of the water. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Oh, I saw him. 
He was in the sunbeam. <laughs> Isn't that great? Nice. Woo. <laughs> Anything that's an edge or a breakwater, I think, is my only chance on this. Water is a little bit cold, fast, just after high water. Maybe a pillow fish. Probably not. Just edges and shallows. Edge of rock, edge of shallow, gravel shelf. Oh, little guy, there we go. Of course he ate the dry. A little brown, right on the scene. Wow, what a gorgeous fish. And that's already the third fish on this bank. And that just screams brown trout, doesn't it? That bank over there, gorgeous fish. Absolutely gorgeous. At this point, I'm just fishing a little black beetle. White post, nothing special on, I don't know, what is that? 11 foot leader to 3X because it's Patagonia and you don't have to be genius level anything you can just fish there he goes another little guy Woohoo! cutthroat brown trout there it is come on over <laughs> hey, here's a little bit bigger, buddy. Just like that. Wicked. You'd think of... Oh, there he is. I'm just going to say you'd think a rainbow would be sitting right there. And what do we got? We got a rainbow sitting right there. <laughs> There we go. Okay, guys. Just from the pocket of the scene. Right in. Tail out. Just far enough out. Right on that seam line. Reach. Hey! That's a shock. <laughs> okay. There we go, guys. As I mentioned, I'd been fishing follow up to Matt, who had cleaned house fishing jig head streamers. I saw very few browns because he hoovered them all, but he hadn't seen anything over 17 inches. I caught up to him at the only hard feature pools of the day. One coming out of prolonged high water, about the only place you'll find the largest trout in a stream is found in those hard, permanent pools that offer expanse of soft water habitat. And I arrived just in time to watch Matt launch his jig head to this. Yeah, 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 yeah! Woo, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> it's on, Carlos! Coming for that. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Say something, buddy. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs>